How can I help you? I'd like to change my name back. All right, so I just started playing Chrono Trigger for the first time. I, I know, I know, I'm very late to the party, but so far, I'm liking it a lot. The battle system is really cool, the world is fun to explore, and the music. But super early in the game, you have to make a decision. This seems like no big deal, because hundreds, if not thousands of games have you make the exact same decision. But for some reason, I don't know why, but this was the most anxiety-inducing thing I've done in a long time. It's having to name your goddamn characters. I can hear a choir of y'all clicking off this video. I, I know that sounds ridiculous given how minuscule naming a fictional character may seem, but for someone like me who second guesses themselves and overanalyzes the most ridiculous crap, this is a living nightmare for me. I know I seem like a super lax, chill PNG tuber with a snowy background, but no. So what makes this so scary? Well, it's obviously not the screen. Letters are only scary in math. It's the act of choosing a name for your characters, because that shit means everything. These guys are an extension of the player. You want to feel like you're on the journey with them instead of just observing it. This is what we in the professional world call immersion, and there's a lot of ways you can enhance it. Exploring the world, talking to NPCs, side quests, but then there are also really easy ways to break immersion, like naming one of your party members Lamps. You don't want to feel like you made the wrong choice, because in reality, you're going to see those names everywhere. Text boxes, menus, it's like the game is rubbing your nose in your own stupidity. Now, to their credit, a lot of games tell you the character's default name, but that leads to even more problems for me, because now I gotta decide if I want the name to be personalized or canonical. If they do have an established name, then how well known is it? Like, do at least 84% of gamers know who Link is? Link is a very well-known character. I, I mean, some people think he's named Zelda because of the title, but they don't count. Those were the kids who lost their DS stylus and never got it replaced. Since Link is so popular and has been around for four decades, it's hard for me not to see this character as Link. Even though he's had a lot of redesigns, I can't see him as a Dylan or a Pasquale. That's probably why we can't in Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. Nintendo's like, no, screw you, this is Link whether you like it or not. But it's also probably because of the voice acting. I love when games have voice acting and they let you name your characters, but no one addresses you by name. I don't want to go over how that's, you know, humanly impossible to record, but I'm being real, that would destroy the immersion. Ima imagine you're playing the next re-release of Skyrim and they're like, Oh, welcome to Whitehaven, Garrett the Dragon Slayer. Then, on the other side of the spectrum, characters that do have canonical names, but they're not really well known. Best example are Pokemon trainers. They all have names in every generation, but I cannot for the life of me name any of them except for Red and Dawn. Quite frankly, it, it would be kind of sad if I could name all of them. This also stems into how, unlike Link, the trainers look different in every game. Again, Link has different designs, but most of them are like, oh, he's green, and now he's blue. Zelda games also don't let you customize Link physically, you know, except for Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, but those aren't Zelda games, they don't count. It's true there wouldn't be physical customization for trainers till Gen 6, but again, new characters every game and you can choose your sex. Even that's more variety than any Zelda game ever. This also applies to naming pets or companions, where they do technically have names, but they're just what the species is called. Wolves in Minecraft, Chow in Sonic Adventure, and this one isn't even scary, because it's, it's like naming a pet in real life. I, I didn't name my guinea pig guinea pig, for heaven's sake. But then that goes full circle with naming Pokemon. Sadly, I'm getting to that age where I can't remember most of their names, so I'll end up not giving them nicknames to force myself to remember what they're actually called. I'm not trying to be a Pokemon expert, I just don't want to look like a jackass when I forget who this is. This is kind of a non-issue since Pokemon does let you change nicknames later on, but that feels cheap and kind of shady, like, like you're committing identity theft. And then sometimes, it won't even be the name that scares me, but just the most minuscule shit. Capitalization is a huge one. It can be weirdly inconsistent with the games I play. Lots of older games had you name in all caps so they could stand out in dialogue. But as time went on, it's now just the initial that's capitalized. If I'm playing a game where it's like the latter and I made my name in all caps, it's the most distracting shit ever. Like, I don't want to make it sound like people are screaming my name. Another one is spelling. Look, you 
got to be critical of every aspect of the name. My name is Colin with two L's. You, you know how many times people have spelt it with just one? But I can't stand when people add a bunch of unnecessary vowels or syllables to a name. It, it's not cool. It doesn't look mythical. Thankfully, with a lot of games having character creators, it helps dissociate them from their default settings. But for the longest time, all you really had to make your save file special was your name. It's not as overt as unique characters, but you can tell there's a big difference between someone who named her Luca versus some shit like Boobs. Last thing I'll say, please, for the love of God, think twice before naming your character. Don't make it sound like you're trying too hard or something you'd be bullied for in middle school, speaking from experience. Make it something you're proud of, something that symbolizes your immersion in the journey. Because this shit can go a long way with making a game fun.